because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with Sammy Luxton. Just, uh, we just spoke a little bit off camera there. You're just a jack of all trades. You, you're Muay Thai, MMA, boxing, you do it all. Everything, yeah, literally. It's all come at once as well. So I started Muay Thai. I've been doing that for 12 years. Did a little bit of boxing to help with my Muay Thai um, because there was like the upcoming of like Muay Thai and four ounce gloves. So I thought, get my hands better. It's perfect. Ended up getting offered a fight on the Mayweather card. Um, so fought on that boxing, uh, won that. And then I've signed for PFL now. So I've started training ground game for MMA. I mean, uh, wow. I mean, there's a lot going on there. but. Obviously, Muay Thai for 12 years, you've dab dabbled into boxing a little bit. You've mentioned the Mayweather card there, you've won that fight, um, and now you're transitioning into the MMA game. You just signed with PFL. So, how hard is it to sort of like transition? Because Muay Thai and boxing is more the striking side of things. How difficult is it to make that transition to do the, the Jiu Jitsu and the wrestling side? So I was a little bit scared at first, obviously, because I've done stand-up for so long. Um, but I feel like I've taken the clinch side of things. So it was more Muay Thai rather than kickboxing. So taking it to the ground, I seem to be picking it up quite fast. And I've just moved to Manchester top team. So the levels in that gym are unreal. So I've been thrown in the deep end, but I'm picking it up a lot quicker than anybody else. So when's the next fight then? I know the PFL are in Newcastle next week. Um, are you on that card or is it just too soon after the boxing fight? A little too soon, so I'm just going to go there, soak up the energy and I'll probably be dying to fight after watching all of them. Um, I feel like we're going to aim for September. Um, I feel like that's the Paris card. Right, so that, is that going to give you enough time to sort of, not, not so much master the jiu-jitsu side of things and the wrestling side of things, but that's obviously a lot of time. It's a good few months away to, uh, to get, your, get your hands on the ground game, so to speak. Yeah, I feel like by September, I'll be extremely confident in the ground game. Even in my sparring now, I'm taking people down and I'm feeling confident in that area. So I feel like by September, everybody won't even know that I've just done Muay Thai and it won't just be my debut. Obviously, talk to me about the boxing side of things, the Mayweather card. Uh, it's every fighter's dream to sort of like fight on at the O2 and a big card like that. Well, Maybe not even on Mayweather card, but it's a lot of fighters dream to fight on a huge card in boxing, but you managed to do it in your first professional fight. So um, just talk to me about that whole experience. So I got the phone call saying, do you want to box on Mayweather's card? And I went, yeah, go on then. I thought it was a joke. I honestly thought they were pulling my leg. Um, and then all the media stuff started coming out. And I thought, oh my God, this is actually uh, kind of real now. And I'd never done a press conference, never done an open workout. And to do it alongside Floyd Mayweather, it, the messages from people who don't even like I know them but they don't really follow my fight career they're like oh my god that is crazy and I feel like then it sunk in like how massive it actually was and to share like say I've shared the ring with him not many people can say that so I'm happy definitely definitely but obviously you've got three disciplines there you've done boxing you've done Muay Thai now you're transitioning to the MMA game. Where do you think you'll end up? Do you think you'll stick around this MMA game? You'll go back to boxing? Did you enjoy the boxing? Or would you go back to Muay Thai, which is your first love? I just love it all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just love getting hit in the face? Yeah, pretty much. I don't know anything else. So um, I feel like a five, ten year plan, I would love to have a world title in MMA, a world title in boxing, and a world title in Muay Thai. Just to say, like, sealed the deal, I've done it all, completed it. Well, that's the, the completed fighting, not just boxing or Muay Thai or MMA, you've just completed fighting uh, in, in general. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I just want to staple my name, just, just to say I've done it. Well, we've seen a lot of folk transition now. We've seen, I spoke to Darren Till last week, he's left the UFC, he's wanted to transition to boxing, and we've seen boxers transition to MMA. So we've seen these transitions happen quite a lot. So who knows what the future may hold for you, because... Like I said to you, we have seen these, these crossover fights happen quite a lot now. So, you know, the future's bright if you keep at it. Yeah, I definitely think that it, it's easy enough to transfer over if you're willing to put in the work. Mm. Um, and yeah, I'm willing to put in the work. So I feel like the future is bright. Listen, it's an absolute honour and a pleasure to speak to you for the first time. Listen, good luck when that debut at the PFL happens in September. Yep, and who knows, I might even be there at the show. You never know. But Sammy, thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you.
refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut, shut up, up Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt ring. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 